Hey guys, how's it going? Give me one second here, get that up. Okay, phase plant skins. I just want to take a moment to show you guys, and you need the 1.84 update of phase plant in order to do this. So if you need to go update phase plant first, and once you have that updated, then you can change the skins on phase plant or make your own custom. And there really wasn't many videos explaining this. So I just want to help you guys get set up as quickly and easily as possible and show you where to get the skins. So in phase plant, if you go to the Discord channel, you can find the skins there. And if you go to this little info button, and you see the Discord symbol, click on that, which will then take you to Discord. Right, and then you can find the skins in Discord. They made a new channel just for the skins. As you can see, let's see if you can see that. There's a skin someone made there called Google Chrome. Uh, there's another one. Really cool. Look at this one. Oh, Today, that's a video. We are going to learn how to do this. This this video is really informative. Check this one out if you want to make make your own skins, make your own colors. But the video I'm showing you today is to just show you how to, to change the skins quickly with the ones that other people already made and uploaded to so phase plant so uh here they all are and <clears throat> right so i'm going to make it real easy and simple if you just want to change the skins but you're not into making your own at the moment you just want to try it out then this is how easy it is so in the discord channel You'll find them with their pictures, like I just showed you. My suggestion is to download them uh, with the JPEG and name them something memorable. All right, so here's one I made, Bitwig uh, Skins Orange. I saved the picture with it, made its own folder. And if you don't do that, you're just gonna end up with a whole bunch uh, called colors.conf and the conf file is the file that you need to copy into phase plant directory in order to make this work so where am i here okay so in discord in the skins channel if you go up to pinned messages, you'll see most important stuff here that's being pinned. And this guy here, R. Larson, he actually uploaded this color CONF file. And that's what makes all this possible. And he is one of the programmers for Phase Plant who's uh, made this possible for you guys. So. If you go into the pin messages, you'll find the file there. That's the original file. If you want to, you know, change it, make your own. But we're going to be using ones other people already did just to see what it looks like. So this is the directory that you're going to want to copy the .conf file to in order to make this work. If you're on Windows, C programs data kilohertz. If you're on Mac, library application support kilohertz. So what I've done is I made a shortcut to that directory right on my desktop so I can change the skins really quickly and easily. Which is, where is it? Oh, here. It, here it is, Killerts. Uh, so here it is. So you need to copy 
Which one should we try? Um, pinky skin. Just looks like this. Oh, look at all the colors. Neat. All right. So you want to copy this dot colors file. Just copy it and then paste it into the kilohertz directory. And replace, replace the old one. And then go back into Ableton. And you might have to reload live or reload phase plant to make this work. It, it, it didn't hold, it didn't work on my end. Um, can't really close live right now because I'm running the stream off live. Uh, we could try to rescan it. It didn't work last time I did it, but maybe it'll work this time. Anyway, it's really that simple. There is only one file involved. It's the .conf file, and you copy it to that directory. And you have to reopen live in order for it to take effect. Here's another skin that I got. Um, here. So that's it. If you found that video useful, <clears throat> like, share, and thanks for watching. Bye.